Welcome to Edmunds U-Drax. This matchup puts massive EV power against Chevy's mid-engine masterpiece. Mwah. Is it weird? Yes. Is it exciting? Hell yes. But first, what is U-Drax? I'm so glad you asked. It's a race to there and back. At Edmunds, we love to test cars. We came up with this not-so-scientific test that we call U-Drags. We're gonna take these two cars, send them all the way down the track, where they're gonna get hard on the brakes, turn around, and come all the way back. That means we get a quarter mile, hard braking, handling, and a rolling start all in one. Now for the first race, we're gonna swap drivers and cars to make sure everybody gets a fair shot. Your pilots for this race are two of Edmunds' hottest shoes, Reese and Kurt. Let's check the stats. The Corvette Z06 packs a five and a half liter flat plane crank V8, good for 670 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. Our tester also has the Z07 package, so it has carbon fiber everywhere. More importantly, it has Michelin Sport Cup 2R tires. When this thing hooks up, look out. The VET's numbers only look small when you bring the Lucid Air GT into the picture. It has a huge battery and two electric motors that send 819 horsepower to all four wheels. Add an 885 pound-feet that happens instantly, and this not-so-little Lucid can boogie, even though it's on P0 all seasons. What's that? You want more U-Drags? Well, then you gotta do us a favor. Like this video and subscribe to the Edmunds YouTube channel. And by the way, if you're looking to sell your car, head over to edmunds.com slash sellmycar. How do you launch the Lucid? It's pretty straightforward in this. You put it into sprint mode. Uh, you confirm that, and then you can go into the settings menu. You go to the vehicle sub menu, and then you make sure that stability control is on full. So you have to leave stability control on in order to get launch control. Once you activate it, left foot on the brake, right foot on the gas, a little blue bear shows up on the left side of the instrument panel. That's when you know you got it and you're gonna get full beans, which I'm gonna need. I am in the new Corvette Z06 um, and I'm gonna use the car's launch control. It's fairly easy to set up once you know how to do it. Now I will turn the drive mode dial to track then I will double press the stability control button and switch that to sport and I will put the car in drive and in the center screen I will go to the performance page and select launch control, press the brake, press the gas and let go when it tells me. I think I'm gonna have to break at the quarter mile mark because these brakes suck. Trucking, dude, trucking. Come on, go, 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 go! Bye. Give me the power! Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna, oh no. Just gotta go so slowly to turn the corner, damn it. Well, 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 if it's not internal combustion. You hauled ass off the line. That's the EV party trick, instant acceleration. But you hauled ass around the corner. Yeah, I knew as soon as you started braking, I had you. So how did that feel under braking? It just feels like tires are too small and they're all seasons. This thing weighs over 5,000 pounds and it's got the tires of like a Hyundai Sonata. Speed is not the issue with that car. It's braking and turning. Um, and that's where the Z06 really shines. I have to slow down so early. I mean, I can't stop before the quarter mile because that's against the rules. See, my issue is traction off the line. I am even warming these tires up per Chevrolet's uh, suggestions. It was not enough to keep wheel spin. It was getting squirrely through second gear. Yeah, but that makes it fun. I mean, I'm just sitting over here like hauling ass, one hand on the wheel almost. It's fun though, and man, it sounds good. All right, time to swap cars. As long as this thing stays within maybe five car lengths, it'll get all the car lengths back under braking 
take more car lengths out of it around the turn and not really give anything up on the way back. So it's less important to get the launch right in this thing and just more important, I think, to just, just try and hang on to it through the corners. This thing's, it's a real car. This car's no joke. All right, I'm out of the Z06 and into our Lucid Air. I am probably going to use the same modes Kurt did because when I tested this car, it was honestly the best way to get a launch. We'll see if I can uh, get around the braking better. I don't know, maybe I can beat him off the line, we'll see. Steer, no oversteer, no oversteer, no oversteer. Go, go, go. kick the stability go. on. Come on. Man, he's already out there. Wow, that movement is fast. That's what I'm talking about. This thing's a pig. This feels so good. It feels so right. Power isn't everything. <laughs> Neither is all-wheel drive. Yeah, once you get this rubber hot, this thing leaves in a hurry. You got a good launch. Didn't really shimmy that much, so I felt really good to just keep my foot in it and let it go. And boy, it breaks, it turns in so good. It's good. I know, I was like right alongside you and I just like, all right, quarter mile, gotta hit the brakes now. I don't think it would matter if that was on uh, summer tires or not because the braking distance isn't gonna get appreciably shorter and you're still just not gonna be able to turn. The thing weighs over 5,000 pounds. That's a big boy. Yeah, honestly, I think turning around is almost more difficult than the like braking because this thing will just cut all power until you're straightened out because the stability control is so uh, aggressive. And like you, I don't want to sit here and play with the uh, screens while we're driving. Yeah, it seems like something you should be able to do. Like you could, you know, multitask, but then you kind of realize like, ah, uh, on second thought, you know, almost 140 miles an hour and you're kind of screwing around with the touch screen. It's like, nah, it's okay, it can wait. That thing sounds good. This is totally soulless and quiet. Losing never sounded so good. <sighs> Love this car. Let's recap. This matchup boiled down to weight and tires. Off the line, the Vet hit 60 and 3.6, the Lucid not 3.5. At the quarter, just 0.1 seconds separated the pair. 11.0 for the Lucid. 11.1 for the Z06. But the Z06 leaned into its much lighter curb weight and stickier tires to start pulling away in the turnaround. It cornered much harder at 1.04 G versus the Lucid 0.86 and then dusted the EV. The vet finished the race in 32 dead at nearly 145 miles per hour. In race two, both cars hooked up better. The Z06 ripped to 60 in 3.3 seconds versus the Air's 3.5. That's impressive for a totally unprepped surface. Remember, this is not a drag strip. In the quarter, the Corvette broke into the tens while the Lucid hit a low 11. Cornering grip was also skewed with the Vet at 1.16 Gs versus the Lucid 0.89. The Z06 finished in an even quicker 31.4 seconds with the Lucid coming home roughly two seconds behind in 33.5. Let's check out our leaderboard. As you can see, our U-Drags from 2022 are not on here. We had to lengthen the course because we are running so many high power EVs that don't always have the brakes to slow down. <clears throat> like the car in this race, for example. Remember, it's the quickest run that goes on the leaderboard regardless of race pairing. The Z06 tied its 31.4 second run that it did against the Stingray, a video you should absolutely watch if you haven't done so already, so it stays put. The Lucid, however, edges out the Stingray for the third spot on our U-Drags leaderboard. Now let's see the in-car camera and the data. Oh, got him. I think I'm gonna have to break at the quarter mile mark because these brakes suck. Trucking, dude, trucking. Oh. Come on, go, 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 go. Give me the power. Oh, I don't 
don't know if I'm gonna, oh no. Just gotta go so slowly to turn the corner, damn it. This is why I love you drags. If that was just a straight up drag race, Lucid actually stood a chance, but you throw in a little bit of braking, a little bit of handling, suddenly it's a much different race. Yeah. yeah, the Corvette gets to do what the Corvette is supposed to do, and the Lucid can only do what it can do. It does that thing very well though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, as soon as we get to the braking zone, this thing feels like a pig. Yeah. It's yeah. heavy. And it is by comparison. Yeah. My question is, what's the most impressive thing about the Corvette? Is it the braking performance? Is it how it sticks around the turn or just the speed that it gets? Yeah. Which yes. one? Yes. <laughs> all, all. all of them, all of them. You've always yes. told me that Corvettes are some of the most impressive vehicles we've ever tested on our home track and then here at u -Drag. Does yep. this cement that even more for you? I think so. I mean, if you look at some of the numbers from our past cars, like Corvettes are some of the best performing cars we've ever done. The new Z06 is no different. There you have it. If you want to see more U-Drags, head over to the Edmunds YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.